is I'm not critiquing all AI development. I'm specifically critiquing the scale at all cost approach that Silicon Valley has taken. But there are many different kinds of beneficial AI models, including what they ended up doing. So they took a fundamentally different approach. First and foremost, they asked their community, do we want this AI tool? Once the community said yes, then they moved to the next step of asking people to fully consent to donating data for the training of this tool. They explained to the community what this data was for, how it would be used, how they would then guard that data and make sure that it wasn't used for other purposes. They collected around a couple hundred hours of audio data in just a few days because the community rallied support around this project. And only a couple hundred hours was enough to create a performance speech recognition model, which is crazy when you think about the scales of data that these Silicon Valley companies require. There's plenty of research that shows when you have highly curated small data sets, you can actually create very powerful AI models. And then once they had that tool, they were able to do exactly what they wanted to open source and resource, uh, open source this educational resource to their community. And so my vision for AI development in the future is to have more small, task-specific AI models that are not trained on vast, polluted data sets, but small, curated data sets, and therefore only need small amounts of computational power and can be deployed in challenges that we actually need to tackle for humanity mitigating climate change by integrating more renewable energy into the grid, improving healthcare by doing more drug discovery, 